Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an amazing weapon in Dark Souls 2. It's called the Grand Lance. This thing is so freaking good. Alright, so if you want to get this weapon, we need to enter this memory. This is the one by the Pursuer Boss, so keep that in mind. It's in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Once you get in this memory, you need to run to the very top of this place. Now this weapon is really good, guys. It hits so freaking hard. The only big downside to this weapon is that you get it so late in the game. So you're going to need to use this probably in New Game Plus. Or you could just use it in PvP. It is really good for PvP. I've used it. And it hits really hard. The only downside to it in PvP is that it is easily avoidable. So that is the big negative to it. But if you can hit somebody, you will destroy them. Trust me. Alright, so we need to go ahead and kill this giant... Oh man, I really hate these guys. They're pretty overpowered, especially this mage. Uh, I thought I was going to die right here. That would have really sucked, but I guess I got lucky. Okay, now if you guys are wondering, I'm actually dual wielding katanas right now. I'm dual wielding the berserker blade with the chaos blade. I love these weapons. They're really good. If you guys want to know how to get these weapons, I will put a link in the annotation and in the description for both the weapons. I made videos about how to get the Chaos Blade, and I made a video about how to get the Berserker Blade. Now, if you're wondering how to get this armor, if you watch the video about the Berserker Blade, I will show you how to get the armor as well. Because I know a lot of people, they're like, whoa, that armor is so cool, how do you get that? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to hit this thing. And if you hit that thing, this rope's going to extend down. It's going to basically put a platform. This is why this is somewhat hidden. is because I never thought about actually hitting that thing. Alright, what we need to do is we need to roll off. Do not jump off, otherwise you'll probably miss it. So just roll off the side. And now we can jump into this crack. Now once you're in here, you got to watch out. There's a giant in here. So let's just go ahead and take him out real quick. He's big and he's slow. And it's just one of them, so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Okay, so one more hit should do it. Die, bitch. Got him. Alright, now there's two chests in here. One will contain the weapon. The other one, it's not important, but I had to open it anyway. You get some of those bonfire things. You get so many of those in this game. It's insane. Alright, so this is the chest where you'll get the weapon. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Give me the weapon! Alright, so we just got the Grand Lance. Absolutely love this weapon. It is a lot of fun to use and it's so freaking powerful All right guys. Well, here's the lance right here. It gets 340 damage when you max it out It also has hundred and sixty critical. That's crazy It gets a C in strength and a C in dex, so it's really good for quality builds All right, so I actually am going to change this up a little bit generally I just show you the moveset But with this thing I had to show you the damage because the damage is insane. Look at this. Holy crap are you serious? 1,500 damage off a jump attack? 1,040 damage from a normal attack? That's insane. Alright, right there I try to do the power attack. With the power attack, you actually will hit the enemy twice. And with the run attack, you will actually hit them three times. So, it's kind of like the halberd, I guess, because the halberds, that's what they do. When you do the run attack, you will hit the enemy three times if you connect with all the hits. With the power attack, you'll spin and you'll hit them two times. Alright, so let's just go ahead and kill all these enemies. I just really wanted to demonstrate the damage on this thing. Because this thing is so deadly. In PvP, it's kind of slow, so it is easy to avoid. But, if you play smart with it, you can actually, like, two-shot people sometimes. It's really crazy. And, of course, because it's a spear-like weapon, you can block and stab at the same time. So that's really good. Alright guys, well I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like and favorite the video for me? That always helps me out and I always appreciate that. And yeah, I really do hope that you guys have a nice day. Peace out!